that at this time you will share, uh, share the time with us and that you'll light your chalice and that you'll sing along with us too. So on the way here today, couldn't help but notice how absolutely gorgeous it is outside and I just thought, I want to be outside, I can't wait, it is summer. And that makes me think, you know, summer might not come to church as often, I might not be in this building and, and that's great, but it also makes me feel a little bit sad because I love this place and I love so much about it. And it makes me, makes me wonder, what, what is it that makes a space holy? And then I do remember, oh yes, it is us. Come, worship with us together. Seniors and their families 
who have been an important part of our lives for the past seven plus years. And again, Drew, Ray, and KP for guiding our kids with so much love. My sorrow is that these milestones, celebrations, and transitions are happening way too quickly. We send our love to all. Laura Tamala, Claire Tamala's mom, shares sorrows for what a tough year that it has been for so many, in so many different ways. And joys for being able to pick up the pieces and to go forward. We are forever changed, but also incredibly blessed. Bruce Black, who along with wife Beth, are responsible for senior Sonia. My joy, one more time, is for this faith home at Unity, for KP, for Ray, for Drew, for their youth leadership. The work you all have done with our children, Maya, Ian, and Sonia, has been extraordinary. My sorrow is our son Ian will only be home for 20 hours between the end of his first year at St. Olaf and when he has to get on a plane for his summer job in New Mexico. It is bittersweet. Join me in prayer. Holy One, let us now take the time Pause our busy hands and our busy minds to breathe in and just be. And remember that these joys and sorrows, pains and challenges are the stuff of life. And with summer, with the end of school, we are thinking so much of how things are ending and we feel glad about completed years and we feel sad about things that will no longer be the same but we know there are beginnings we pray for the mindfulness that we will begin again we always do we always try to go forward we mark everything that made it all wonderful Hold it. Celebrate it. We mark everything that makes it hard and sad. And we celebrate it. And we know we begin again. May it be so. Amen. from the fire held the possibility for building something new. 
Speaking of which, come on, let's go take a look down in the sanctuary. As you can see, and some of you know, where the fire burned a hole in the ceiling, we put in a skylight. The windows along the sanctuary are also, were also new, and they put in new carpet. But the biggest, most dramatic change was building of the wire box at the back this tall, wide, wooden, wavy reredos speaks of time and wind and tides. It's basically as tall as the sanctuary and as wide as the chancel. It's made up of multiple tall panels of birch wood. This right-hand side begins with deep, short curves that gradually widen and become shallower as the piece oscillates across the chancel. The widened curve ends with this sharp angle, a protruding panel of wood as if the wood was just cut off but the rare dust seems to extend out into the congregation anyway. And it also hovers off the ground as if it's posed to move. Depending on the sun, as you can see through the skylight, light and shadow dance across the rare dust. Traditionally, a rare dust is a curtain or screen or veil that is thought to draw the boundary between the sacred and the profane. Or as we talked about a few weeks back, what we call special and what we call ordinary. A rare dust can look all sorts of different ways. It can be big or it can be small. It can be made out of stone or wood. Sometimes there's even figures important or biblical figures painted on the Veridas. But what makes a Veridas the same in all spaces is that it's at the back of the chancel. It's behind the altar or the pulpit. Now, there are arguments about the Veridas that go way back in time because some people wonder if art, any kind of art, including something like the rare dos, gets in the way of us experiencing the holy when we come together. But other people have said, no, I think that art evokes the sacred. It makes the sacred real and felt and present. It actually helps us be together in the way that we want to when we come together at church. I believe that our rare dos holds both sides of this conversation. It's fairly simple, and it can blend into the background, but it's also present, and it evokes nature, right? Wind and tides, which nature is in large part divine and special to us as you use because of our transcendental ancestry. A few years ago, one of our high school seniors shared a reflection about this Ferro Doss in a youth group chapel. 
They said that their contemplation of the aesthetic and the size and the shape was an investigation of the soul of the Raritas. And they counted each of the panels, they touched it and they felt it, they looked close and they looked at it from far away. They still, oh right, they even created a mathematical function because as they pointed out, it creates a sign curve. They still wanted to know more though. They said that there is something in this wavy wooden wonder that calls I, I am so fond and drawn to this Raritas precisely because it holds our living tradition. It calls us to our roots, right? Evoking these age-old theological conversations and debates reminds us of our Abrahamic tradition. It also, though, invites us into the future, right? It reminds us of, in the face of loss and change, to lean in. It reminds us that we have a commitment to change and adaptation, a commitment to the possibilities of something new. And in the present, between what has been and what may come, we are invited to wonder. May it be so. And on. Please join us in singing our closing hymn, Spirit of Life, which is 123 in the singing the living tradition. Go on, say that again. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> Please join us in singing our closing hymn, Spirit of Life, which is 123 in Singing the Living Tradition. What is so wondrously the same? May it be so. And amen.